Wednesdays on the show, we do local food reviews. And today, Monty's authentic quality Philly cheesesteak sandwiches, the Black Angus ribeye steak, that melty cheese sauce, and some Amoroso rolls headed to Monty's. A lot of you guys said we gotta go there because you know we love Philly cheesesteaks. So today, we're headed there, headed north, Tallman Avenue. Let's go. Sixers two, eight inch Monty's Philly cheese steaks acquired jump cut. All right, guys, Court Wagner second angle. All right, let's open it up and see what we got. Masking tape, love it. It's always a good sign. Okay, here we go. There's some meat. There's some bread. Open it up. You got some cheese. Put it together. It's a Philly cheese steak sandwich. Boom. Nice. Meat looks incredible. Not as, um, I, I'm so used to them like just gushing the cheese on top of it. You know, it's mixed throughout it looks, huh? Yeah, do you usually get uh, the cheese whiz when at Philly's Beast? Yeah. Because I feel like Philly's Beast, it's sometimes hard to find too. Oh, okay, I feel like the one that- Provolone, it will like sit on top a little bit more. Yeah. Um, but I'm, I've had Philly's Best probably like 180 times in my life, so. Yeah, you have. <laughs> All right, Monty's Philly cheesesteak. Cheers. Cheers. Not pretty tasty. Mm -hmm. Cheese is good. Yeah, good cheese. Aged cheddar sauce. I like that the cheddar sauce is aged. You know, mm. doing it nice. The bread is pretty unique, though. It like, it does seem pretty crispy, but still soft. Like I do feel like this is not a traditional, just like Toronto, which I feel like a lot of Chicago delis use. Like Toronto is a big company here. Like that French roll or that hoagie. This does seem kind of unique. Onions are good. Meats decent. This is Philly cheesesteak. Do you like those or not? I know. If you like them, this is gonna it's gonna hit the spot. This is about eleven bucks. Okay. For context, I honestly think Philly's best is way better. Yeah, I'm um, I'm not wowed by this. Like, it's a good Philly cheesesteak sandwich by far. Yeah. But this is what happens a lot of times too. Is like this place is so highly rated mm -hmm. that I go into it thinking it's gonna blow my mind because I Philly cheesesteaks like from Philly's best. That's my barometer. Like that's where I'm either you're either better or worse than that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They added the thousands upon thousands of people who were relentlessly tens of thousands, I think. Countless, countless amounts of texts and comments we were getting from sometimes more subscribers than we have. I bet it must have been a lot of those two million people who viewed like the pocket. It seemed like almost upwards of a million people right commenting, "You gotta get money, you gotta get it." Like, man, almost daily, I feel like I was getting a notification on my phone. And I'm like, <laughs> dude, this is such a weird thing to get this daily, and it's not that great. Like, it's not as good as, like, you guys gotta all try Philly's best. Yeah, they do. You know? Mm -hmm. It's not all, that it's bad. All I mean, too many obviously. Of it. It's very. It's a Philly cheesesteak. It's amazing. But Philly's best is better. This is another one like, I'd love to do side by side just to see how much I really do appreciate Philly's best, you know? Because, like, I, I haven't had it in a little while. So like in my head, I feel like I kind of remember it, but I need another, I need another go. I'm gonna put Sixer sauce on it. Yeah, since I live so close to it, like I said, I've had it probably upwards of them, maybe 200 times in my life. Yeah. I feel like I got a pretty good imprinted uh, flavor, flavor profile in the memory glands. Right. You know? Absolutely. I don't think I've ever put hot sauce on a Philly cheesesteak sandwich before. I highly recommend it. It's not something that it comes with. Right. It's not something that people think to put on there, but boy, does it make it amazing. Man, dude, I, I'm kind of underwhelmed. Yeah. I'm just, I, I think I just thought too much. I gotta stop being like, all 25 million of you said it was gonna be great, you know right. what I mean? It's easy, when you're hearing it that often, that message, that frequently, it's hard for it not to get lodged up in the brain cavity, making me think that it's gonna be amazing. The difference in mentality of me going to like a sonic drive-in, like mm -hmm. my expectations are like, if it's put together at all correctly, I'm psyched. Here, totally. I just think, Oh, it's gonna literally change my week. I feel like that's just about, gosh darn near every single local spot we go to, I have fairly high expectations. Yeah, I know. 
And I think rightfully so. I mean, this is like the best food city in the world, dude. It's really tough to, you know, we, we said this earlier in the video, but to hold Monty's up to the caliber of Philly's best, that's the only other Philly cheesesteak I've had in the city other than Dairy Queen's. Yeah. Which didn't count, that was just basic. And you had a B-dubs one. Oh, you had a B-dubs one. <laughs> Dang, I don't remember that at all, that's crazy. It was very like, oh, they did a, they did a cheesesteak because they yeah. put like all the peppers and everything on yeah. it too. It's kind of like a bigger production. But um, yeah, we got a bad. We shouldn't be holding people to the standard of. I, I, I don't know. The only thing I could think of is like if you if you like grew up with uh, like sharing sharing property lines mm -hmm. with Michael Jordan, and every morning you go out and shoot hoops with Michael Jordan. Right. 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 And then you'd be like, wow, this guy's pretty good. <laughs> and then the first time you went and played basketball with somebody else, <laughs> that wouldn't be fair to your, you know, playing basketball with your that's schoolmate. A really, that's a really good point. You'd be like, dude, you guys all suck, bro. <laughs> they go, you play with Michael Jordan. Yeah, like, I don't know. Yeah. Like, I, some, he's my neighbor. So, yes, we are comparing Philly's best to the Michael Jordan yeah. of Philly cheese steak sandwiches in Chicago. Right. I'm not gonna expand that to Philly, obviously. I, I know. Don't, I don't want to have a whole city hate me. No, 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 no. I want when we go to Philadelphia eventually for the show. I want them to welcome us with open, open arms. arms. Yeah. I need that. Yeah, greasy, greasy drunk guys. Like they should. That's like. I yeah. Feel like we, we fit the vibe. We of would that fit city. Philly very well. Yeah. I don't shower. I've never seen you take a shower. Granted, yes, you have. You can. We did a video for uh, Fuego Box. Did you with actually shower. shower though, or are you in the shower? I want to see you sopping wet, nice uh, body body wash on you. I want to see you shampoo and conditioner. That's, that's a shower. That's a good point. I mean, there is some gray area there, but I think you've <laughs> you've technically seen me. You've you've seen me in the shower with water running over my body. Yeah. So I don't know how much into the weeds you want to get on the details of whether or not that's considered me showering. Right. But I want it to be stated, video evidence that's for true. all of history to know. Sean has seen me shower. Because we could go down that whole rabbit hole. Is is water wet? You know, is that water one? wet? We don't know. Corey was wet though. I was wet. In turn, Sean was wet. I was wet. Yeah. I've been. And dead. now you're wet. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, I love that stuff, dude. That's so funny. You got something in there? You got any floss? <laughs> yeah, dude. Black Angus ribeye steak really gets inside the chompers. All right, before we go ahead and rate the Philly cheesesteak sandwich from Monty's, let's do a shout out. Merch out, merch out, merch out. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't see the video yesterday, we've got new merch. It's dropped already for a select few group of people. Everybody else, everybody else who loves the channel, you guys can all get it on Friday. It's going live on our website Friday for you guys all to be able to have access to number 6 cheesecom But there are some special people who get access early because it's a limited run. We don't have sizes to infinite, so that means that you are going to have to make these purchases soon and quick, or it may run out of your particular style. So who gets it early? Let me tell you, Patreon folks get it early. That's a fact. And they also get a discount code if you're a $5 and up Patreon, 10% off. But the people who, uh, like maybe maybe you don't have extra money and you don't want to go onto Patreon, we get it and we don't want you to miss out. We know we got some true fans right now who are really, uh, you know, there's a struggle right now with this whole Corona thing. I don't it know sucks. if you've been alive and noticed. I have. It's a little tough. So we don't want to make you guys pay to have to get access to our shirts. So all you have to do is be in our phone contact Contact list. How do you do that? You text this number 312 847 23 and 22. That's a number that you can text now and get some access. Let me tell you how. <laughs> yeah. Like so all you do is you send a text. It's going to ask you to click on a link. You click on that link. You're going to be in our contact. Once you're in our contact, we're going to send out a link that's going to give you early access to our shirts. So you don't want to wait till Friday. You want to make sure that you are going to be able to get your shirt, get your size before it's sold out. All you have to do is shoot us a text to that phone number that I was beautifully saying a moment yeah. ago, mm -hmm. and we promise to send you guys a link. So do that. And if you don't, if you don't do that, I am going to hunt you down. I'm going to rip all your toenails out, and I'm going to eat them in front of you just to piss you off. Yeah, I, I, he'll do it. <laughs> I've seen him do some weird stuff. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> just looking, at, boiling, looking out the window, just thinking about eating toenails. Oh, I'm oh my god. Oh, I'm pissed. But come Friday, number 6 with cheesecom if you're not able to send the text or be a Patreon member. Totally cool, totally get it. A lot of those items will still be on there. I'm sure it just might be uh, not able to get some of the shirts, but a lot of the smaller stuff you'll be able to get. So check it out when you get a chance. Yeah, see like our buddy Grant Fussell just texted us on the line. So be one of the people that text oh, us. Yeah, and look dope. at all these perks. All right, let's go ahead and rate it. Monty's, uh, whoa, out of five. Isn't there like an iconic Monty character? Monty Python? Yeah, maybe that's what it's I'm thinking It's not a human of. though. No, it's not. Out of five, Monty 
Python DVD Monty covers Ball? of your choice. Oh, I like that. How it's many Monty Python DVD covers of your choice? I'm gonna make my choice now. It's gonna be Search for the Holy Grail, one of the all-time greatest movies ever made. Do you Best get ending pop probably to a movie ever? Maybe Blazing Saddles, but anyways, go ahead. Sorry. Do you give the eight-inch eleven-dollar Philly cheesesteak from Monty's Quarry? Man, that is still. I I mean, it's still a really good Philly cheesesteak. I just wish I had more like of a, a catalog of Philly cheesesteaks to like put it against like. Right. I'm the, well. This is my second Philly cheesesteak that I've gotten from a Philly cheesesteak spot. Like I don't count the B dubs of the day. Yeah, like a thing, local. Like, yeah, yeah. So I know it's hard for me to say. Like I, it tasted good. Philly, Philly's best is just like way better in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, but it wasn't certainly wasn't bad. If you live on this, like if you're in this neighborhood, I'm probably not hoofing it to Philly's best just to yeah. get like the cheesesteak. I'd just be ordering Monty's nonstop. So I'm still gonna give it like a really good score. I'm gonna give it. I think it feels like just right in my tummy to give it a 3.8. Oh, that's still like a very respectable score. Yeah, I was, everything you said, I was right there. The entire time I was thinking, that's about a 3.5. There you go. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I think, you know, I really do want to try Phillies again. Uh, I haven't had it this year, I don't think. <sighs> kind yeah. of just saying, I don't uh, think I've had it. It was a pandemic, I think, is one reason. Yep. I'm not up near you as much like, yep. outside of the show. Yeah. So it's like, normally that would be a spot that we're, we're getting food on the way back if we're doing comedy shows. So it's like, yep. I really do want to know. And if you guys have any other Philly cheesesteak spots in Chicago that we should try, let us know. But this this was the one that about 40 to 50 million people suggested we do. <laughs> I think the entire population <laughs> of Alabama right. suggested that we try this. Yeah. Do you think there's, how many million I people? do not think, that was not the, I feel, instantly I could tell that's what it felt like I was I, saying. I knew, I know you don't think 50 million yeah, people live in that would be Alabama it. because there's only 330 Americans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Um, you know, maybe, I, I don't have the stats in front of me. Yeah. You know, um, it would blow my mind. Yeah. Can you believe that like, Roughly a, a sixth of the population lives in Alabama. Alabama, you know all that? places. Yeah, I, so There's I'm gonna no start kidding. spreading that. I'm just gonna say, dude, you Bro. know what I found out the other day? It's so weird. People will believe it. I know, because I'm very convincing too. Yeah. I talk really loud and at you. Yeah. So you be like, whoa. And there's as a long lot as you of shut up, I'll dumb say. people in the world. <laughs> Which none of them live in Alabama. I mean, we got, if you guys don't watch the podcast, I got a friend to uh, put his um, social security number to comment it on our podcast. Yeah, he just put it in a chat Full, room. And all I had to do was barely trick him. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, like you, you can, one if I try. Could, if I could barely trick him into revealing his whole social security number, you could definitely right. barely trick someone into believing that every, most people live in Alabama. Yeah. If, I mean, if anybody wants to throw their social security number down below this video, I mean, I heard that if you comment below your social security number, I tried this like two weeks ago, YouTube automatically stars yeah. the last uh, four numbers. So comment below your social security number and watch. It's crazy. It mm. all gets starred. That's nice that they did that. And if you're a kid, please don't do that. This is a joke for adults. Oh, so kids can't get their identity stolen too? Oh. <sighs> Guys, we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. We're headed to Pizza Hut to double it. Two one-topping pizzas from Pizza Hut. Do the whole fast food thing too, and we'll see you then. If I say allegedly, does that stop me from getting sued? Yeah. Allegedly, YouTube allegedly. Say it, say it like really clearly though. Allegedly. Okay, he's cleared of everything. We'll see you tomorrow. Sweet.